Well, hi, welcome to our show. Today, we're gonna to talk about boredom. Have you ever been bored? Do you like being bored? Do you find it to be a healthy thing to be bored? Is it something of something you wanna change? Well, on this show today, we're gonna to talk about boredom, the advantages and disadvantages of being bored, and what you can do to help improve your view of what boredom is. After this video, we'll come back and we'll talk some more. Stay tuned. Boredom, a lack of interest. People don't know what to do. They just sit there and watch YouTube, play video games, maybe watch a whole season of Netflix. People make up excuses. It's too rainy to do anything. Uh, I just played some sport, I'm too tired. Uh, I'll do it tomorrow. But boredom is an illusion. 21st century invention. There's more to life. There's the world outside. While you're sitting on the couch on your phone, things are happening, amazing things, and you're not seeing them. Open the door, step outside, and look at the world around. Welcome back. So what did you think? How about boredom? Are you one of those people that it's easily bored? Or are you someone that can stimulate yourself enough to be able to stay active and you don't need to be bored? Are you one of those people that is bored and you don't know how to fulfill your time? Well, all of these things are very normal behavior. There are individuals who have a difficult time fulfilling their time. What does boredom mean? Boredom means feeling restless. Boredom means feeling uninterested in whatever it is that's happening. You know, there's a lot of research that says kids that are bored are usually very creative. And when they get bored in class, what they do is they push them in imagination, for example. They push themselves to have imagination on other things that stimulates them. So a lot of times boredom, per se, is not really a disadvantage unless it is causing you difficulty to really finish the task on hand. There's also a lot of research that says people that get bored easily, it's probably because they're motivated extrinsically, which means that they don't have an intrinsic motivation, they don't have themselves anything internally that satisfies them, so they're constantly motivated to find outside sources. Of course, you know we live in this world where there is a lot of stimulation outside. There's the social media, and there's the video gaming, and there's the TV, and there's the excitement 
outside that we become very connected to that or even addicted to that. Once you are addicted to something externally, what happens is that intrinsically, you don't know how to motivate yourself. And therefore, when you are at a task that is not really uh, high to your stimulation, it's not stimulating you enough, it's boring, you tend to become bored. So what should you do if you are that type of a person? Well. I have one thing to say to you. If boredom is creating this sense of imagination that is helping you become more creative, why kill it? But if boredom is helping you, it's not really helping you and it's causing you difficulties in your job where you feel that because you are bored, you're daydreaming a lot more and you're not really having fun in the task that you are supposed to be done, then something's got to get done. The problem is, is that a lot of times we engage in these behaviors or in these tasks that we're not really happy with. For example, if I had to do a task that's really not something that I'm interested in or something that I'm just doing because my boss wants me, or if I'm teaching a, a lesson that is not really something that of interest to me, then of course I'm going to be bored myself. So it's very important that we try to find ways where we can stimulate ourselves to the point where we're not that bored. But is boredom itself a terrible thing? When we come back, we'll talk more about how to be bored. Welcome back. So we were talking about being bored and boredom. Is it healthy? Is it unhealthy? What I was saying earlier is that sometimes it is healthy. For example, whenever the teacher complains about your kid is daydreaming, is it really a bad thing that your kid is daydreaming because they're in a class that maybe the style of teaching is not very interesting, maybe the information your kid already knows, maybe your child is very smart and already caught up with all the information and he's bored sitting in there, so he starts daydreaming and creating other imaginations. Even us as adults, whenever we're in a meeting, for example, or we have to go to a, some presentation or some training, a lot of times we're very bored with that information. So what do we do? We start drawing, we start thinking about all the other things that we need to do, maybe sometimes even become creative on different aspects of our life, setting goals. So being bored, if it's causing you an issue because you're missing a lot of information, what you need to do is to stimulate yourself. So if you're attending, a conference or if you've gone to a workshop and you're really not interested in that workshop you have to consciously and physically tell yourself that this is something very important you have to be able to consciously don't put yourself on an automated kind of a, a mode where you automatically go into daydream and be bored but if it's something that you feel that it's uh, causing you to be creative, you're in a meeting and it doesn't matter if you miss some information. If you're thinking about what other things can stimulate you, boredom is not that bad. So there's an advantage to both things. We're constantly looking for stimulation. But what I recommend is that you try to find some stimulation that is internally built inside of you. Something that makes you excited, something that you can get into yourself and motivate you and instead of waiting for external motivation, external activities that is going to stimulate your boredom. Can we be bored? Yes, I'm sure all of us have been bored at one time or the other, but some of us are very good into turning that boredom to something positive where we know we're bored, we become very aware of our boredom and we change the style, we change the activity that we're in to make it more personalized. Other than that, if we are just sitting there waiting for our flight, going to a meeting, with not something that we know is going to really hurt our career, then being bored is not a bad thing. So I encourage you to let your body be bored because it needs to be bored, and sometimes let your body be interested more on a personal level. Thank you so much for joining us on this show. We try to give you a lot of information that can be personalized and easy to understand. And remember, on this show, we always try to keep it positive.